Do you have a Kenwood THD75 radio and are wondering what the uh, key and knob operations are for? Well, stick around. We'll be covering these features in this video. Hi, Steve here, Kilo 4 Sierra Romeo Foxtrot. This is going to be the second uh, installment of my series of videos on the Kenwood THD uh, D75. The first one would cover just the basic setup with the uh, hardware on it itself. And this next section is going to be uh, it's going to be focused on the key and knob operations. Now, if you didn't see the first video, that basically covered just the uh, hardware installation, the battery, and whatnot. But this one's going to be specifically designed for all the buttons on your radio plus uh, some of the functions of the buttons themselves as well as the knobs. In future videos I'm going to be covering the rest of the user's uh, guide. Not the user's manual but the user's guide. Uh, now if you aren't familiar the user's guide comes with this radio but the user's manual itself is a uh, downloadable PDF format from Kenwood. Uh, the user's guide is about 60 something pages, whereas the manual is about 120, 330 something pages, much more in depth. Well, let's go ahead and get into the buttons and knob operations of the Kenwood TH uh, D75. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the uh, key and control knob operations of the D75 here. Starting on this side of the radio, this button right here is our power button. Uh, you just press it and it turns the radio on. Uh, now, if your backlight goes off, just press this button once and it'll bring that backlight back up. The button above that is the monitor button. And this button is used to unmute the speaker in order to monitor the signals. All right, if you release the monitor button, it'll return the radio back to the normal operation. And pressing the F button. Sorry about that. If pressing the F button, the function button, which is this button right here, and the monitor button, that'll take you to the squelch level adjustment so you can adjust the squelch level of your radio itself. The next button up here is your PTT point, uh, point to shoot. Yeah, let's see, push to talk early in the morning here. Your push to talk button here, obviously, this is used when you want to transmit on the radio itself. Next, we'll go to the top of the radio, and this is the knob right here, the ENC, or encoding button, or knob. And you rotate this knob to select the operating frequency, your memory channel, menu items, and it also sets the value and changes the scan direction of your radio itself. Below this, the wider knob here, is your volume control. The volume control, obviously, uh, is used to adjust the speaker volume of the radio itself. The next thing we're going to look at are the uh, scroll keys here, these four little arrows right here, up, down, left, and right. Uh, pressing up and down will select an operating frequency. As you can see, it's changing the operating frequency. In my it's in the memory mode now. It's pressing it up and down. Now, if you press and hold the up and down uh, arrows in just either way, and, and that will actually change the operating frequency uh, and also will change the memory channel, memory item, menu item, and select uh, values that you want to select in the menu itself. Okay, the next button we're going to look at right here is our mode button. It's that button right here. Pressing this button will take you from in and out of digital mode. As you can see, it just takes you into digital mode. And while you're in digital mode, if you press the function button, it'll take you into a, another menu here where you can select uh, your tone frequency, attenuation, fine mode, frequency, uh, and different, uh, different memory options uh, that are available while in the digital mode. The next button we're going to look into is our menu button here. Just press menu and that'll take you right back to the main screen. Pressing the menu button will take into your menu menu options. You've got all these different options that you can use your either up and down arrows to scroll through, or you can use a top nod here to go from selection to selection. You've got your uh, receive and transmit 
uh, functions, uh, your, your memory functions, your audio file functions, GPS functions, your APRS setting functions, uh, your digital functions, uh, FM broadcasting, your SD card functions, and your configuration menu at that point. That's a total of uh, nine different options you have here, and each one of these has um, a submenu to them. By pressing the enter button, you can get to the submenu, and you can do, get to all of your submenus here. Pressing the mode button will take you back to the main screen. This guys go down to, let's say, general or configurations. Press enter, take you into that, and this will give you all your uh, sub menu for your general general setup here and that's basically the menu button here so let's go ahead and go to the next button which will be the a b button now the a b button basically get back here the a b button just takes you from your upper band to your lower band so in other words right here if i was in the upper band and i press it will Transmit on the upper band. Pressing it again, the lower band is selected, and that will transmit on the lower band. And I've got all these frequencies set for uh, extremely low transmission, so they're probably not even getting out of the house. So I'm not worried about uh, kerchunking the uh, repeaters at this point. Okay, the next button we're going to explore is the F button, the function button here. Uh, the function button will actually take you into the function menus, and by pressing it once, it can take you down to your like CTC or CTCSS attenuation, fine frequency. Uh, back to your function menus at all. You have all these sub this in the sub menu, all these different functions that you can mess around with here. Now, now if you press and hold the uh, function button for one second, that actually locks locks your uh, transceiver up. So you can't accidentally make any changes. As you can see, I can't change channels or anything by pressing the function button again for another second. It will free up the uh, radio itself so you can go ahead and make the changes you need to make. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the keypad here. And We have our keypad 1s through 9 and 0 tucked not neatly in the bottom there. Uh, the number one is your VFO. It'll take your radio from memory mode to VFO mode. You can make your changes or type in what frequency you want to use. To get back to memory mode, you use uh, number two button. That'll take you back into the memory uh, mode there. The uh, number three will take you to the call sign, or your call, not call sign, but your your call frequency, as you can see, this one's set to the UHF call frequency 446.000. Now, pressing 3 will take you out of the call sign. Yeah, I say call sign, I'm sorry. The call frequency, my bad. But uh, this 3 will take you uh, in and out of the call frequency. You get you right to it. Um, now, also, if you press the function button and the call button, it's uh, this will store... Uh, the current operating frequency uh, into your memory as well. The number four button right here is your message button, and this will actually uh, display your APRS messages. If there are any, I have no messages here. Now, uh, if you press your function button and message button, that'll enter uh, the new message input mode where you can enter a message to send it in APRS, but I don't have APRS set up in here, so I really can't demonstrate at this time. Number six button is used right here to, it's your BC, uh, BCN beacon button, and it's not active because I don't have APS uh, set up on this radio, but this is actually used to transmit uh, beacon when the APS mode is uh, actually turned on. Uh, number seven is the reverse uh, function on and off right here. Again, nothing is set up in this button. Nothing is set up in APRS, so I can't do anything with this button at this time. But this uh, number seven is actually 
the re uh, the reverse function on it turns reverse function on and off and if you press the function button and the reverse button it'll get you into a shift direction uh, mode menu there the number nine button uh, is your primary function or program function one button not primary but program function one and that takes you into your uh, your this, your uh, active programming function there itself, the menu there. If you press the uh, function button and the PF1, that will actually turn the attenuator function on and off. The number nine button uh, is your primary function or program function one button, not primary, but program function one. And that takes you into your, uh, your this, your uh, active programming function there itself, the menu there. If you press the uh, function button and the PF1, that will actually turn the attenuator function on and off. Keep it. Three, two, one. Now the zero key is your mark key. Uh, pressing the mark will display the position in the memory list, which I have not listed in here. Uh, if you press the mark key for one second, you will enter the uh, mark waypoint uh, registration mode, which again, I don't have it at, uh, set up here. And the, if pressing the function button, function button and the mark button again, uh, this will go ahead and display uh, your your position exactly where, if you've got it set up or uh, just ambiguous. Now, other features on this radio here, since we've done the keypad pretty much, you have your uh, microphones right up here, this little tiny hole right up here, and your speaker is right down here. Now, this is your, this right here, this little light, is your transmitter, busy transmit light. Let me get into a frequency that I can no, I'm not going to hit. Okay. Uh, this this light will light up when you're transmitting, or red when you're transmitting, or when the station is busy itself. If you happen to be on a uh, station that, or a frequency that you want to transmit on, but you know it's light's red, that means it's in use at that time. One other key I forgot to mention uh, when I was talking about the keys here before I forget is the uh, aster key if you press the aster key and your function key that will take you into a scan mode as you can see whatever uh, channel you've got selected will go into a scan mode get out of scan mode press the aster key and take you right out well i hope this video has given you some information on the uh, functions of the knobs and the keys on your uh, thd 75 uh, if you have any more questions, just drop a line down here and I'll uh, answer them as soon as I can. In future videos, I will be covering the rest of the user's uh, guide itself. Uh, my next topic hopefully is going to be on both the display and the basic functions. I'm going to have to play this by ear to see exactly how long the video is going to run out. I don't want to uh, create a long, long video, so that's why I want to cut each uh, section into their own little indep independent videos. Well, if you have any questions, Please drop a line and I'll answer it as soon as I can. And if you haven't considered subscribing to continue this series and be notified you know, when I upload the videos, please consider doing so. Until next time, this is Steve, Kilo 4 Sierra Romeo Foxtrot, 73.